guys, it's George from Cypress Insight and it's 6.30 in the morning, it's 25 degrees. Eva has suggested we have a look at some beaches. So we've come down to one of the furthest beaches closest to the border and this is Dog Beach. And we'll go and have a look at Dog Beach first, shall we? As I said, this is one of the closest beaches to the border and they call it dog beach because you're allowed to bring your dogs here and they can go in the sea and have a swim and what you ever and uh, a friend of ours has come down here and did some painting so i'll show you that There we are. Isn't that good? Let's go right up to the funnel bit. There you go. It's clever, isn't it? So the paintwork was done by Jan in RT Jans. They do all crafty stuff. Really nice, interesting bits and pieces, and they sell them online. So check them out. So it's a little beach, as I said. And we are well sheltered. There we are. And some toys have been left behind. People don't need them, and the dogs and that can play with them there we are and there's also poo bins there we are there's also some beds of course so the sun beds here are free of charge there we are There we are, quite a few regulars come down here, swim with their dogs early morning. Lovely location. There we are. Lovely and sandy. Morning. There we are, well sheltered. And there's some people out there from the other beach swimming already. Right guys, a little further on, still at Caparis, is Fireman's Beach. They call it Fireman's Beach because just up there is the... Uh, I think it's the headquarters or a base for the fire brigade just here and they do some practice here and all sorts of stuff the fire brigade so they call it fireman's beach right so in the last uh, what four five years it's slowly been developing Fireman's Beach and there's a beautiful bar here, look, coffee shop overlooking the beach. There's another one here, the ice cream and sandwich bar, so they've got two now. And I think they've got toilets, public toilets. So it's uh, seven o'clock now in the morning and uh, it is Saturday so it's a very busy day and it looks like 
quite a lot of the sunbeds have already been taken and there's all the people having an early morning swim quite sheltered see lovely little beach so let me take you to the edge of the waters and show you there we go right so there we are just at the edge of the beach and then you can see look When we first started coming down here, this was just a rocky sort of uh, path. And that's a proper slope. And there's a watering place for cleaning your feet. They put trees all along. And the whole path is tree lined. There we go, toilets. So, yeah. so we've got, uh, as I said, the snack bar here. And another one on our right. Interesting decor. Look, they do a Sunday summer sunset music event. Looks like it starts at six o'clock. There we are. So every Sunday, brilliant. Right, a little bit further on is Maumea Beach. I'm not sure if it's because there's cats here. Maumea. Anyway, so again, lovely sheltered beach. Lots of car parking space. Quite a lot of people arriving just after seven o'clock. As I said before, it is Saturday, so we've got uh, the tourists and also people coming down from Nicosia for the weekend. This is another beach that's been slowly redeveloped in the last five years. And they've put steps in here. There we are. And yet another slope going down to the beach. and a snack bar and coffee shop what I'll do is I'll go to the uh, restaurant there we are just here and I can get a better view of the place there we are Oh, there we go, guys. Lots of people in the sea already. Tiny little beach there. And just over the other end, 
just open it and move my hand. There's a cave there, and then there's one further on there. So you could snorkel or just swim inside them caves. Let's go to the end of the coffee shop. It's a big one, isn't it? Looks like they're cleaning it, ready for the day. There's water sports here as well. There, isn't that beautiful look. There's the water sports out of the way, which is good. And look at the cliff, crystal clear waters. Very sandy. All three of these beaches that I've shown you so far are great to come off season. It's very quiet. Uh, but there's no sunbeds out. And there's a mermaid down there, look. Can you see her? So there's our famous coastal path. We've done this leg. Probably leg three or something like that. All along there. Right, so we've got uh, dustbins available. Toilets are just on my left. I'll show you. There they are. And it's a very clean beach. Everyone's put their rubbish in the right place. The dustbin come every day and clear out the bins especially this time of the year. There we are, steps up to the car park. So guys, it's uh, 20 past seven now and the temperature's climbed up to 30 degrees. Still in Caparis, and we're at Aya Chiada. So this will be the last beach now. It's getting very hot to look at. And this one's got a little harbour, so we'll go around the harbour. There we are. Again, all sheltered. And the snack bar and coffee shop is at the back of this beach. And same again for this one. In the last five years, it's been revamped and developed. These rocks have been put in. The beach is being expanded back a little bit. There's toilets on the other side. So these ones have also got some beds you can rent and uh, they're two euros fifty each some bed and two euros fifty for each umbrella. There's the big coffee shop and snack bar. I'd have got picnic tables on this particular one. And I was going to say, uh, years ago there was a volleyball court. And sure enough, they've 
moved it to the edge here and they've put a board around it and looks like they might even be putting lights around it as well because they've got the pipes ready for the cables to be run it looks like it's going to be a flood lit volleyball court and just down there guys is a ramp for disabled chairs to be able to get into the sea if i get closer i'll show you Some more car parking area. And then just a bit further on, on the right, is another beach. There wasn't a beach there before, and they've redeveloped the area and made access to it and tidied it up, and it's become a public area. I suppose there was a beach, but the public couldn't get to it. Right, I'll go to the edge here. Oh, look, they've built some uh, benches as well. Ideal for coming down and having a little snack. Right, people in the sea enjoying the early morning swim. And there's the ramp, you see. Or disabled swimmers right show you the little harbour there's the little harbour look and there's a sailing boat there look, for the scouts fishing boats I think they've got quite a lot of leisure craft in here now it used to be full of fishing boats but they've been slowly decommissioned and the leisure craft have come in right the church of Aya Triada right next to the harbour looks quite plain from outside but uh, inside it's quite amazing don't know if it's open at the moment Yep, it's open. So I'll show you. Look at that. Didn't expect that, did you? What an amazing church. Look. Right, and I'll show you the stained glass there from inside. Actually, you can't see it very well on the camera, I'm afraid. There's more stained glass there. I don't know if you can see it, guys. The sun's beating down on it. Let me see if you can get closer. There you are. That's better, isn't it? Show you in bits. That's better. There you go. That's a great idea, isn't it, guys? Look. So dispose of your plastics. Right, so I'm going to walk back to the car this way. Never know, the crew might want to paddle. Right. Let's walk back on the water's edge, shall we? 
There's the ramp for the disabled swimmers. And next to the ramp is the some beds and therefore disabled users only. Very handy. Okay. So let's walk back now. Looks like the crew's gone for a little paddle. Uh, it looks like the ladies have come down for an early morning swim and a chat. See, it's flat calm today. Just past 7.30 now, so we're going to scoot off because these beaches are going to be rammed today. It's Saturday. We've got uh, locals come down for the weekend. And of course we've got our summer tourists. Not that sure what that floating house is. First time I've seen it. Hmm. Right, thank you Eva and hope you enjoyed that and I hope the rest of you enjoyed that little early morning view of the some of the beaches. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below.